Um, what impresses you in Indonesia and what needs to be improved? I think, yeah, it's actually, it's maybe a cliche, but what impresses me most in Indonesia is the diversity. And you only see that when you travel around. When you live in Jakarta, you sometimes forget about the rest of Indonesia. And it's when you, you go around and you see all the different cultures and the different kinds of people and the different backgrounds. Um, I think that diversity is so unique. How uh, you can go from, from Papua to, to Aceh, and you have a zillion of different kinds of cultures. And um, I think, yeah, that's something uh, that's sometimes forgotten by a lot of people, diversity. Although uh, it's, it's a core value for Indonesia, um, yeah, you have to travel to see it and to understand. And well, we, we, we will have the roles in reverse because for most of the interview I've been talking about culture and Natalie about business. So as she talked about business, uh, the thing that impresses me the most is, uh, as she talked about culture, uh, I will say the thing that uh, um, impresses me the most is, is about business and the economy, is the resilience uh, of uh, the, Indonesian, uh, the Indonesian economy. It's going through headwinds, it's going through multiple uh, challenges, but uh, the Indonesian economy has been, uh, has been doing, I think, uh, strikingly well considering those headwinds since, uh, since 1998, 1999 and the rebuilding uh, after. Uh, the Asian crisis and it's showing signs of still growing uh, despite, uh, despite the multiple dangers uh, and, and challenges. I think uh, in the long run uh, definitely three things uh, will be needed, uh, probably a little bit less red tape. Uh, this is something that uh, we uh, are convinced of and uh, we appreciate the the 14 now, uh, before long, the 15 uh, uh, economic reform packages of the president even more. That's the first one. Uh, economic and social stability is very important and uh, has been a major, major uh, driver in Indonesia doing so much better over the past year because it is seen uh, in a um, in a confused world as a place uh, of uh, social and political stability. We are concerned about uh, the social uh, and religious tensions uh, that we see uh, growing uh, in uh, and around uh, Jakarta. We do hope uh, that the context is uh, going to be conducive uh, for these tensions to um, to uh, disappear or at least uh, uh, reduce in the coming months. We really hope that because uh, economic, not only economic stability, but social stability, political stability are major, major assets for Indonesia to create more jobs and get more people uh, out of poverty. This is the solution. Uh, this is the way uh, the Indonesian economy is going, uh, is going to grow. Uh, this is the way also uh, Indonesians are going to become uh, more wealthy. This is the way uh, healthcare is going to improve. This is the way education is going to improve. Uh, and the last thing uh, is the potential uh, is huge in mining, in agriculture, in services, including business services. Uh, in the industry and we hope our companies uh, can help because uh, I think Indonesia, uh, like it has uh, been the case a little bit too often over the past decade or decades, uh, shouldn't see uh, foreign partnerships uh, and foreign investment as a threat or as a competition for local companies, uh, but certainly as something that will make through technology transfer through cross-fertilizations of minds of business people and uh, of researchers, of innovators, something that uh, will not affect the way this country grows and develops, but that actually uh, will uh, be uh, helping this country uh, create jobs and get richer. Uh, Belgium is known uh, in Europe and in the world as one of the most innovative 
uh, economies uh, in the world, we do feel uh, that the potential for Indonesia to become a hub uh, for innovation, not only in industry but also in services, is there. Uh, some help will be needed uh, from foreign partnerships and all Belgian companies uh, given uh, the opportunity and also given uh, a little bit of facilitation by the authorities uh, are very much willing uh, and ready to do that.